Rachel Powell of Mercer County faces a hearing tomorrow in connection with the riot at the U.S. Capitol. She's one of 63 Pennsylvanians charged. Only Florida's had more riot-related arrests. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan asked an FBI agent and former prosecutors why so many people from this region were involved. A little more than a year ago, you could have passed any one of them on the street. Rachel Powell, the organic yogurt saleswoman and mother of eight, known as the Bullhorn Lady, who allegedly barked out orders to those inside, instructing them on where to go. Jordan Mink of Oakdale, seen here using a baseball bat to break into the Capitol, where he's accused of stealing chairs and passing them out to fellow rioters. And Robert Morris, a teacher from Shaler who served his country as an Army Ranger. Prosecutors say he used his military training to coordinate an attack and overpower Capitol Police. Though each of them framed their actions in terms of free speech and not intending to inflict bodily harm, prosecutors are vigorously pursuing them. They face potentially lengthy stays in prison for participating in what former U.S. Attorney David Hickton calls an insurrection. Let's call it what it is. It's domestic terrorism. Pennsylvania has always been a hotbed for militia and paramilitary groups, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. Hickton says their extremist views have now found their way into the mainstream. With industrial decline and the fading promise of the American dream, they found a fertile breeding ground in western PA. Our region has been particularly hard hit, and I would even say left behind, by some of the policies of our government. It's the breach of the, the covenant that if you work hard and play by the rules, you can get ahead. You can build a better life for your family. Angry citizens now falling prey to disinformation, not just that the election was stolen, but embracing wild conspiracy theories, like convicted QAnon follower Matthew Perna of Hermitage, who posted an eight-minute video in the Capitol saying, quote, it's not over, trust me. The purpose of today was to expose Pence as a traitor. People of goodwill and people who are not of goodwill have allowed to, been allowed to spin themselves into almost absurdity uh, with nonsense. That's part of what's going on. It's this demonization of the government itself. Former FBI agent and now LaRoche University professor Larry Lycar says many of those now facing charges are gullible people who have been led astray by groups like the Oath Keepers, the Proud Boys, and the Boogaloo Boys, extremist groups which the FBI believes have mounted a coordinated attack on the Capitol. The ultimate objective is to get to the ringleaders of, of the movement, it's of the various movements that were rolled into the attack on the Capitol. Both Hickton and Lycar want the Department of Justice and Congress to accelerate their investigations, determine if this was a coordinated attack, and bring those responsible to justice, saying this kind of assault on democracy cannot happen again. Of those 63 Pennsylvanians charged, some have been convicted. Others, like Robert Morris, are awaiting trial in jail. Rachel Powell has a hearing tomorrow. She's been offered a plea deal. We'll let you know if she accepts it. Reporting on the North Shore, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.